Hello fellow airsofters, especially ones that are new to the hobby like I am. I went and bought this because I did a BB gun shootout and I had it clamped into my park bicycle uh, bicycle clamp. But I figured I'd try an appropriate, properly designed rifle clamp. And so I bought this off AliExpress. It just came in bubble wrap. There was no box or anything like that. So I saw a couple different designs on AliExpress as well. I chose this one because this is a metal body. Uh, I've saw some plastic ones, but I just figure if this is metal, it should be more rigid. Henceforth, it should keep the rifle clamped better, in theory, right? I, I don't know. So let's take a look here. So obviously we have a three-prong uh, rotating thing here, and we have some sort of what looks like a leather washer in there. And then we have some uh, Phillips screws holding these uh, sliding shafts on both sides. And then the screw mechanism here. So let's see. How many turns does it take? First let me back it out. Oh, sorry. So oddly, cl going clockwise makes it expand. That seems a little counterintuitive. Because I'm just used to water faucets. You know, turning right usually closes a water faucet. But in this case it opens the clamps up. Uh, because the threading, the choice of the threading direction. All right, so we're all the way open. Oh boy, I'm gonna just, uh, I should probably mark this. Let's see how many rotations to get it fully closed. Granted, you're not gonna fully close it around a rifle. Or maybe we should really try to get it around to close this, because that's around the size of uh, the front end of a rifle, I think. So I gotta go counterclockwise. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I guess eleven, and then no, oh, eleven point five. It, it stops anyways. Okay, well, that's not too many turns, I guess. In fact, you want to have as short an amount of turns as possible so it's really easy to unclamp and reclamp your gun. You only have to probably twist it one, two times, I bet, to release your gun or two times to tighten your gun. So I think that's a pretty good design. This cutout, I'm assuming, I'm not sure. I think that's too narrow for the magwell of my M4 airsoft rifle. Uh, but maybe triggers for like real guns, uh, you know, fit fit there for like uh, hunting rifles kind of thing. These pads, yeah, they're definitely rubbery. Let's, you can kind of see as I squish there. I don't get any feeling that they're cheap or going to break easily. Only time will tell. If they were real rubber, they would crack just being exposed to oxygen. But I'm going to have to give them the benefit of the doubt and hope that these are like silicone rubber so they last a long time but uh, I don't know I'll have to wait like 10 years to find out alright and then uh, there's two uh, threaded nuts here to mount it onto a tripod I'm just going to mount it onto my uh, camera tripod so here's the shoe it's going to go into the smaller one but I guess if you're really serious you'd get some sort of tripod with this giant thread I don't even know what size that is it's probably in the uh, one of the AliExpress listings but all I wanted to know is it had a regular uh, camera tripod thread, which is this guy. Well, one wouldn't expect any problems there, and actually there were none. So I'm going to just clamp this into my tripod. Alright, so I ended up uh, removing that shoe, actually. And there's this a giant uh, threaded bolt that's going into the larger hole at the bottom of this this clamp here. This is a Manfrotto uh, tripod by the way, it's not a copycat, it's a real one, it was quite expensive. Uh, and then I used the bubble level here to get it horizontal. The vertical is a little bit off, uh, I gotta twist, uh, twist it a little bit better. But uh, I have a laser borescope here, and so that's nine pointing out there, which is nine meters away. 
and so I've circled the, the that red dot as well with the with the black sharpie, which you'll see. I'm gonna put a couple of rounds through it, and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, that seems pretty good. Maybe I've lost focus there. I'm going to put another burst out, and then I'm going to put the laser back in. All right. So the hop up is uh, in the right location, but now I'm realizing that that tripod is uh, the problem. The vise itself is probably holding the gun in the proper location, but I think the recoil of the gun has shifted it, obviously, to this position. So I guess I cannot use uh, that tripod. It needs a more secure mount for the gun to not shift around. But at least for today, it helped me uh, get it, the hop-up elevation correct. So uh, I'm happy with that. Uh, if you can secure that to a more, you know, uh, heavy foundation, maybe put some sandbags at the feet of the uh, tripod, then I guess that vice is pretty good. Although the whole thing about it sh uh, trying to hold a gun perfectly vertical, that might be an issue. Let's go back to it, actually. Yeah, this, this shot shows it all. <clears throat> So even though the sides of my, my gun here, the shroud, are vertical, you can see the, the splaying out of the clamps, right? Because the, well, that's really strange that it wouldn't clamp it more evenly. So there must be some play here in the bottom uh, steel pins that are sli it's sliding on, because only that play would allow this thing to shift upwards if they are perfect if this was thicker and the holes are much tighter there's no reason for this thing to, to twist this way right but there's some sloppiness i guess in, in these pins that would explain why it's doing that so that's why my gun is not perfectly vertical i guess i could sit there and twist it until it is perfectly vertical but it's just not very easy to do so Oh well, uh, this thing wasn't very, very expensive, so I guess you gotta accept it for what it costs. And so that's the end of this review for this little gun clamp. At least it's made of high durable materials, you know, it's cast aluminum and it's stainless steel, so it shouldn't break. It's just that uh, it's gonna be hard to actually align it properly. All right. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.